<laughs> hey guys, it's Margaret, long time no see. <laughs> you know that time when you're trying to end the screen share, but then you end the whole show instead? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so hopefully you found <laughs> the new hangout clicky thing, linky thing. Um, so yeah. <laughs> Yay. All right. Hopefully everybody can find their way back. So I was just showing you the Ed Hardy hats that I picked up. Um, this one I think is, or Christian Odd Year. Anyway, bought them each for a dollar. This one I think is going to be a dud. This one I think I'm going to try it at around $20. So that's what I was telling you about before I clicked and show. So <laughs> I feel bad. I hope everybody over on the other, I, I, I dropped the link in. So hopefully everybody finds their way back over uh, over here. Oh, you know what, Maggie? You're right. Maggie says I could list them together. They'd be like a bonus pair, right? Um, <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, these things happen. Okay, oh, right. it's just all about attitude, right? I could anyway. All right, let's move forward. Let's move forward. So next up, I picked this up yesterday at a garage sale for three dollars, and it is a Vera Bradley purple paisley messenger bag and it's an almost new condition uh, it's really big and i'm going to set this down here i'm going to share the screen again <laughs> trust me trust me this time i won't mess up again <laughs> here we go here we go i got this <laughs> all right this is not the right screen again here we go so this is these are sold and the, I had to look up the um, pattern, right? Because Vera Bradley people have their patterns. And it's called Simply Violet. Now, I didn't find this particular exact one. Um, I looked up messenger bags and diaper bags. Uh, this is a duffel bag that went for $31. Uh, but I think I'm going to put, I'm going to probably put it between the $40 and $50 mark. Uh, and then just put a best offer on it. Yeah, I know, right? Three bucks. I couldn't believe it. The daughter, I asked the daughter, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stop screen sharing. I'm going to be very, very particular about this. Stop. <laughs> so the daughter was outside, and I asked, you know, how much for this purse, right? You want to play it down. How much for this purple purse? You know, and she's like, uh, two, three, I don't know. I better go ask my mom. I was like, oh, great. Here we go. So she went to, to ask mom, and mom was like, what did you tell her? And she's like, two or three. She's like, Okay, well, they didn't have change. She, she had originally said two, and then they didn't have enough change to give me back to make it where it was $2, so they had enough. Anyway, I ended up paying $3, long story short. I was happy to do it. So, yeah, I think I'm going to put it at the between, you know, 45 or so dollar mark with best offer because I couldn't find the same one. Now, Purple Paisley reminds me of Prince, and I, and I can't keyword spam my title, but... I'm wondering if there's some way in the description that I could say something like perfect for, you know, Prince lover or something like that to get Prince in there. Is that bad? Can you do that? I don't know. But it's, it, you know, purple, paisley, Prince, you know, I don't know. Um, I'll have to <laughs> find out if that counts, if you can do that in the description part, not in the title. I don't know. What do you think? Let me say hey again to the, uh, the chat over to the side. Hello, Zaheer. Welcome back. Hello, Andrew and Liz and Cheryl and Maggie and a purple lily and and oh gosh, I think we lost some people unless they just haven't said hey yet. Um, but I know we had some other people friends hanging out. So if you're there, say hello because that's why I do this so I can say hello to you and uh, annoy people who watch it later. <laughs> All right, next. <laughs> not really, not really. Hey, Greg, how's it going? I saw you yesterday. Well, I didn't see you see you, but I periscoped yesterday. I saw you there. So that was yesterday. That wasn't today, right? I was garage sailing. So I also picked up a whole big stack. This is not all of them. Big stack of Berenstain Bears books. There's more. Okay, more here. Big. Oh, they're all Berenstain Bears. All of them. I got more. Two more. Here we go. Now, I like picking up Bernstein Bear books. I got all of those for $5. And um, two options I have here, I, I looked at them on FBA, and you know, individually they're not going great. One option is I can put them on eBay in a big lot, because there are people that go bananas for Bernstein Bears. 
And let me show you again, just in case you don't know. They're like mostly these type of books, like that. Because they want the whole set. But I'm telling you, I'm on Garage Sale, which is a local garage sale site. There's one that's I'm on that's just moms, you know, so it's all ladies. Um, and every time I put up Berenstein Bear books, they go like that. And, the, and usually nobody tries to talk me down on the price, so I can usually get about a dollar a book um, on these. If I lot a big lot up, you know, so I'm, I think I've done really well with my Berenstein Bear lot here. So $5 for all those. You know, and I'm hoping to get, you know, between 50 cents to a dollar, which doesn't sound like a lot, but if you think about it, it is. <laughs> okay, I saw some, yes, oh, <laughs> thanks, Greg. Yes, I, I like, um, I don't do as many periscopes as I should, and they're more random, for sure. <laughs> okay, yay, I'm glad you're back, Sandra. Hello, hello, Kayla. I'm glad you're here. Hello, Sharis. All righty, next up, so all of those were $5. I'm trying to decide what to show you next. Okay, I'll show you jewelry. <laughs> all right, so at the first garage sale I went to today, I picked up some jewelry. All of it for, was $5. So I got these earrings. They're not silver, but they have these little turquoise beads, and I think they're, they're cute. I can probably, I'll probably put them up for $14 or $15. Um, and then I got this little ring, which is not wonderful, but it's silver, so it's going in my silver scrap bag and then I got this bracelet ah uh, it's not marked but it's not magnetic so I'm guessing it, it might be stainless steel or something like that um, but it's really nice and it's got a nice hinge closure and the lady said it was a lady and her daughter um, and it was the first garage sale they had ever done and so their prices were good and then I got this brooch I think it's vintage just because of the the clothes, you know, this part, the, the pin part. So it's this, and it's got these loopy things, I guess, to loopy it on. It would be weird on a necklace, though, I think, because then you could still see the pin. You'd have to take the pin off somehow. I don't know. Maybe Angie knows or Karen. Usually they can tell me more when I have questions about my vintage jewelry. And then... This I picked up, even though it's broken, this little piece came off, but it's a locket. Can you see? It's got this like unicorn. It's, it's trying to be like cloisonne. Maybe it is. Um, but I'm going to glue that back in there. And then on the inside, it's a locket. If I can open it. It looks like it has like a music box or something. I think when it opens, there's a little button there that's supposed to activate. So I think it's supposed to play music or something when it opens. So I'm going to. See if I can pop this out and see if it needs a new battery. Because cool, right? Unicorn music box locket. Come on. So that was a dollar. Or everything was, I don't know, it was five dollars for all of that. So that'll be cool. All right, so these are my jewelries. Let me see what the, the chat's saying real quick. Uh okay. Did I end it with the back covers that show the other books hold one up. Oh, you want one of these? Like that. Like that? With the back. Yeah, they show, they show the other books. I think that's what you're talking about. Um, hey, Jenny. And the, oh, yeah, it'll clean up nice. Okay. All right. Here we go. Moving on. Next, I'm trying to decide what to show you. Okay, I have some things that I'm going to send into FBA. So, so far, so good, right? Quick flips on Virage Sale, jewelry, FBA. So far, so good. Here we go. Uh, I Okay, I'll show you first. So this one I picked up. She charged me a dollar, which is awesome. Unfortunately, the bottom of the box is torn. Um, so I will have to send this in as used like new. But look, somebody bought it from Amazon. <laughs> so this is a Spy Gear Night Scope. Got that for a dollar. And then it is going for... Let me do it. I'm going to screen share again. Here it comes. <laughs> Don't be scared. <laughs> All right, we already did that. Da, 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 da. Let's see over here. No, I haven't gotten that yet. Okay, so here are the um, FBAs because I clicked on Prime and I, I clicked on Like New because the, the bockage, you see it, the bockage, the package <laughs> is damaged. So, I mean, with, the, with this kind of price, I could, I mean, probably bring home, what do you think? I always say half. I estimate half. 
So four fifty or so. So not bad on a dollar. It's, it could be better, but it could be could be worse. Oh gosh. Okay. Oh my gosh. I thought I hit the wrong button again. Oh. <laughs> I have got to slow down. This is when mistakes happen. <laughs> okay. Next up, this big boy was also at that same garage sale. And I scanned it before I asked her how much it was. I'm not going to tell you. So I scanned it and I was like, oh yeah, you know, the ranking's a bit high, but um, it was the profit is worth the wait, I think. So scanned it, we got really excited, took it over to her, and here was her response. I said, well, how much do you want for this? She goes, he really wants, and that's where I started panicking. Oh, great. She's going to say like 20, 30 bucks, right? Uh, and she's like, he really wants five bucks for it, but I tell you what, I'll sell it to you for three. <laughs> I said, okay. So I'm gonna screen share again. I'm gonna take it easy this time, slow and easy, right? So I don't close out the whole thing again. So now let me show you. Closing out this one, and it's right here. Uh, Radio Control Jeep Wrangler, the picture is horrible, but look at this, new collectible, $89.99. It has like a million sales rank, which is really high. But like I said, I can wait for, and I don't think these, these are not even FBA, I don't think. Look, free shipping. So I'll have the only one up there that is FBA because they are not um, FBA. Woo, even better. Okay, here we go. Carefully stop screen share. <laughs> All right, let's take a peek at the chat again. Let's see. Hello, Mario, how are you? And, okay, hey Di uh, Dinah, Dina, Dinah, which one? I don't know. Do I sell a lot of jewelry on Etsy? Sherry's one, entourage wants to know. I don't have great luck on eBay. I cross post it, so it kind of varies. Sometimes, I, you know, I, it's hard to tell, but yeah, I, I put it on both if I can. Some of the jewelry, if it's not vintage, but that's, yeah. Um, I can't really sell it, unless I do it like a craft jewelry lot um so yeah let's see <laughs> maggie says wow and isn't that awesome hey tanya how's it going and cheryl hello hello okay all right here we go moving forward i got a few things for the kids to some vhs and some books there was a, okay i'm gonna go with this one there was a teacher who was you know she's Quitting, or she's no, she's moving from kindergarten to third grade, is what she said. Um, but I saw her her ad on the garage sale map and all of this stuff, and she, I think she started on Thursday. So I thought this morning, like I'm not going over there. It's Saturday. There's no way I'm going to find sweet deals. But I accidentally was driving around and stumbled upon it, and so I was like, okay, I'm going to go in. So I did get some good deals. <laughs> Plus, it, it worked out because. Some of the things I saw there that I wanted, I thought, you know what? Those things have been sitting there since Thursday. And I think today was her last day. So I'm going to make, you know, make her an offer. So these are the ones I got for my kids. She had a bunch of these. They're the books that have the discs with them. But I, I got two for my kids. But I got some VHS and I got some books. I'll show you and then I'll show you on Amazon. Stuart Little VHS. Some of these are not, I mean, they're not killer, but... $7.99 is the lowest I'll go. So I'll make at least, you know, three, four bucks, maybe, you know, to Treasure Planet, and then some books. Books. So Mouse and Persep Persepolis, Persepolis, and another Mouse. There's volume one and two. And then this is Eagle Annual 1985. And if I go too fast, you guys tell me. And this is some kind of like graphic novel comic thing in there. I've never heard of it. And then this one I might keep because I love where the wild things are. It's got in the night kitchen too. Yay. All right. So let me share with you what I looked up on those and boop. I'm going to take it easy again. Share. And let me see. Click out of that. Oh, that's when I decided to keep. My kids have not seen Ricky Tiki Tabby. <laughs> So this one is Treasure Planet, and like, a, you know, the prices are kind of low on this one, but there's two at this price, and then there's some that are up higher. So I might just send it in, because mine is in pretty good shape. It's, you know, like new, very good shape. So I could send it in, maybe put $9.99 on it. 
And then ET, this is another one that I think we're just going to end up keeping because, you know, who can, this is what I want to know. Who can make money? You're paying Amazon if you put it at this price. I mean, $7.99 is like my lowest to get a few bucks off of it. I mean, at $3.50, it's like you're in the negative. What's the deal? I don't get it. Somebody's got to fill me in on that. Okay, so there's mouse. And mine is in really good condition. So let's unclick acceptable. So good and very good. The prices go on up. You know, eight, nine, ten bucks is what I'm thinking. Persepolis, again, um, I think it's going to be in the eight, nine or so mark. And mouse again. Same deal. I mean, they're not huge, but you know, the the ranking's pretty good. It's a popular book, apparently, and and the you know, I think it'll sell pretty well. And then this is the Eagle, annual Eagle. I don't know what this is exactly, but there's only one up there at Prime for this price, $9.95. So there's that. And then I think there's one more. Oh, here it is. So to me, I think we'll probably look at this price jump. Maybe they're just waiting. Maybe this person is waiting for these three to sell out, and then they will dominate with their 4444 price, right? Um, so maybe it'll go up there. We'll see. I don't know. I can't decide. Okay, close that out, and then come over here and very carefully hit stop screen share. Okay, so there's that. Now, I was at that same garage sale, you remember, and I was telling you I saw some things that uh, – I said, okay, I want these things. They've been sitting here this whole time. And it was four, you know, those plastic shoe boxes. Four of them full, and I'll show you, of these. And they're all priced at about $150 each. And they're new, new, never used. So I'll show you. I'm going to tote them out in front of you. So here's one. Oh, they're falling. There's one. And... Guess, guess, guess. Start guessing how much she gave them to me for. <laughs> Reluctantly, we might say. Here's two. There's some are falling on the floor now. Here comes three. Three. Are you guessing? Are you guessing? I'm going to look. And they're all theme-based. Like, this is all St. Patrick's Day. There's one that's a Cowboys. I mean, they're all hearts and clovers and... I'm scooching. Please, gosh, nobody fall off the table. There's another one. Are you guessing? Okay. And then there's four, and then some more that fell on the floor of these stamps, right? All the stamps in the whole wide world. So, and they are pretty much, except for solo ones, might have a quarter or 50 cents or something like that. She had some in her bag for a dollar. So all of those, I saw it. You guys are right. You know me. Uh, I, I just said, hey, can I give you 20 bucks for all of those? And she was like, really? Only 20? <laughs> and I was like, I, I'm tapped out. You know, I've used up all my garage sale money. That's what I got. Um, so she was like, yes, just get them out of my face. I just can't look at them anymore. So, yay, it worked. <laughs> because I knew they'd been sitting there because she'd had her garage sale up for a while. So let me show you some of the research I've done. Now, I've only, I only tried to pop up a few of them. Some of them may be on Amazon. If they are, they're going to go to Amazon. If they're not, what do you win? <laughs> High five. Boom. <laughs> In your face. <laughs> so here we go. Screen share. <laughs> okay. So we already did this one. This is on eBay. Okay, so I found the howdy. Look, here we go. Stampin' Up! Yeehaw! Retired. This, But I saw one that was sold for the right price. So here we go. Here it is. 25 bucks just for that one, right? Cool. Just for that one. There's some different ones. Those aren't the same. So, you know, 15, 16 bucks. Look at this one. Holy moly. Do I have this one in there? Whoa. I have to look and see because some of them are really, you know, more desirable apparently than others. And then this is some other random ones. The prices on some are higher than others, but. Yeah, like look at this one. Stampin' It Up! Hit the Road set, 25 bucks for that set. Now, they might sit for a, for a while, but that's okay. They don't take up that much space. <laughs> look at this one. Retired Christmas stamp set, $65. Well, best offer was accepted, but anyway, okay, let's move out of here. 
And so here's one set that's on Amazon, uh, this daisy, decorative daisy one. So it's selling for $25.99. And so I just have to go through and look, you know, like here's a bug one and see which sets I have and which ones there are listings for up there. I mean, I guess this would be a good time for me to learn how to create a listing. And then I could just send them all to Amazon, right? Okay. That, that would be something I would need to do. Okay, I'm going to stop screen sharing again carefully. There we go. Okay, let's see who's in the chat. Okay. You wonder, nobody's taking my kittens. <laughs> so, yeah, Les eBay Magic wanted to know what he won for guessing the $20. And Sherry Entourage says a free kitten. My kittens. Oh, my kittens. Um, right, right, Tanya? So I've picked up stamps in the past. Some sell really fast, depending on the subject. Some sit around for a while, but. I was like, you know what? They're and they're all like I try not to buy the used ones, but these are all literally never used, brand new, you know. Oh my gosh, you know, awesomeness. Oh, Halloween. I'm a sucker for Halloween. Okay, 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 okay. Hey Adam, how's it going? Okay, you need to research Stampin' Up boxes because they can vary in price as you can see. Exactly, yes. So it might take me some time. And like I say, some of them I don't know. I may try to see about sending more of them into Amazon because now that would be the perfect time for me to create a listing. Am I done? No. No, I'm not. I forgot something else. So this, I bought this with that jewelry, the $5 that I spent on that jewelry. This is, I love these personally. Um, little music boxes that you can see all the workings in. So that's probably going to stay with me. And then this is at the same, that teacher lady. This is a Brighton bookmark for 25 cents. So I'm going to hang on to this. It's missing a stone. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to hang on to that. <laughs> and so the last garage sale I went to, I bought two things. I'm going to show them to you. Oh, my gosh, Tanya's dropping the bomb in the, in the chat. <laughs> I told them they had to, they had to um, follow me on <laughs> Instagram or <laughs> Facebook, they would have seen what it was. All right, so I bought two things at the last garage. I was actually on my way home. My mom had called and said, Margaret, let's go. We, she was gonna, we were going to go run around. So I needed to go home and shower because in Houston, it's like a billion degrees already. So, yeah, spoiler alert. <laughs> so I was like, I just happened to drive past this garage sale on the way home. I was like, okay, I'll stop. So, this, and this one I actually, I'd already paid for the other stuff, and I was like, okay, I'm going to go, and then I spotted this laying on the couch um, that was out there, and it's this leather jacket. It looks, ooh, like so. And these are not, these are not just patches. These are leather, like leather. They're leather. Let me turn around and see the back. <laughs> it's cool. No biggie. So here's the back of the jacket, and these are, you know, like I say, there are panels of leather in the in the jacket. Cool, right? So I paid five dollars for that, and I'm gonna pull up solds. These are solds. Mine's in, you know, there's some wear to it, and the leather's getting kind of dry. You can tell, but I'll make sure to share that in my listing. Share. Here we go. Let's see, where did it go? No way, oh here it is, okay. So here, these are sold. Vintage phase three flags of the world black leather motorcycle jacket. Mine's a size large, not extra large. But look it, right? 75, 87, all right, isn't this cool? <laughs> this one's, I'm, I'm not sure why that one's, I mean, but hey, you know, even if it was 40 bucks, size large, maybe that's, well, it's a large too. But mine's got some wear, so mine might be more in the $40 to $50 range. We'll see. We will see. Cool, right? Pretty cool, I think. <laughs> All right, let's stop the screen share. Adam says he would keep it. You know what? It, it's never cold here. <laughs> There's like a week where the wind blows, and you're like, whoo, and then you're like, okay, where's my, where's my flip-flops? <laughs> right? Ask Tanya. It's true. Every now and then we'll get a winter that's cold, but no, it doesn't get really cold here at all. So, right, but that's a good return for five bucks. Now, remember how I keep saying I'm only buying smalls or I'm buying things that, you know, I can send into FBA? Well, at the same garage sale, 
<laughs> I gotta get it. Hang on. Hang on. Hang on. I gotta move some. I gotta move some things around. <laughs> Nine years ago. No, it's it, it, when James was a baby. It snowed that one time. It was like a misty snow, though. Remember? It was like he was like two or 18 months or something like that. So yeah, it was almost nine years ago. <laughs> Never mind, you're right. <laughs> okay, here we go. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, we may have disaster. I'm gonna have to scoot this back. Don't see my messy room. Yes. I'm gonna, oh, don't do it. Okay, no, hang on. I'm gonna have to move you. You have to come to it. Look it. <laughs> it's a giant. Giant kiss cutout. It's bigger than me. There's my thumbnail, right? Wait, wait. You guys have to help me. Here we go. Giant, here's my thumbnail for my, my video, if I can do it right. Me and kiss. Eee, selfie. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Oh, kiss my grits. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh, Jenny. So that was $2, and it came with an awesome story. Hang on. Let me move it so it doesn't catch on fire. <laughs> the lamp is touching it. Don't, don't catch it on fire. All right. <laughs> Let's see. Scrap fashionista would love that. Okay, so, yeah. I know. I'll probably take a better one. I'll take a better selfie with kiss to use as the thumbnail for this one. <laughs> Good question, how am I gonna mail that, right? Um, <laughs> what a good idea, Maggie. She says, put it on my lawn and charge people to take selfies, all right? What I need is like get some Pokemon. So like when the kids come looking for Pokemon and there's like kiss and they're like, ah, right, run away. Um, <laughs> oh, hey, Kimberly. Um, so here's the story. The kid, who's about 16 years old, um, says, you know, his dad bought it for him for his birthday when he was six. And he said he woke up on the morning of his birthday and his dad had, a, had this up at the foot of his bed. So he woke up on his sixth birthday to this, <laughs> staring down at him. And he said he started screaming, screaming his head off. And his, you know they had to come running in and turn it around. And like, oh, he, and that was it. He was like, he hates it. He hated it. He couldn't. Yeah. So and so it's in really great shape for having have it, had it. And um, yeah. So that's a uh, that's the story that came with that kiss giant thing. Now it's not particularly old. It's 2003. And the mom said she got it down in the rice village. I know, right? Poor kid. I think the dad was like trying to get him to love Kiss, you know, or else he was just a really sadistic one or the other. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> so, yeah, um, it folds up. It does fold up. So, but it's still big. It can be flat, you know, but it's still pretty big. So I think it'll be okay. Or I can Craigslist it. I don't know. So for two bucks, I, I, even, I, I texted Randy. I was like, Randy, it's two dollars. <laughs> he's like, just get it. <laughs> and then he, he's such a good guy. He, he'd said this before he knew it folded up. Oh my gosh, look at me sweating. It's this hot. I'm inside in the air conditioning. I'm still sweating. Is that everything? Have I shown you all? I think I have. Okay. Okay. All right. Oh, you know what? I did want to tell you one more thing, or maybe two, because it's me. Um, I keep forgetting. I leave these windows open so I don't forget, but I still forget. So I, I was interviewed for a, a um, thing, this guy, these guys. So you want to sell on eBay. And I keep forgetting to share the link. Oops, that's my email. You don't need to read my email. But I need to share the, the link so you can go listen to, it's like a radio type show, podcast. So you want to sell on eBay. And um, the, it came out. Yay. It, the interview happened a while back. And... Um, I just never told anybody because, well, I just didn't. And so now it's out, and I need to promote it because they asked me to, and I keep forgetting. And they sent me the, the email like three or four days ago. So <laughs> so this is part of the promoting, and then I will uh, go post it around where I have to post it. Um, let me check in the chat real fast. I could use it as my background. Uh, let's see. 
slide it between two slabs of cardboard. And I know, right? I'll ship that. I've got brown, like, that rolled paper, you know, the brown paper that, so I'll just put some cardboard, wrap it around with the brown, what's your medieval paper, you know, and put some stickers on it. I don't know. Hang on. Turn that off. Stop. Okay. So maybe contact Gene Simmons. He has a collection of his own memorabilia. Yeah, yeah, that I saw on his show. Somebody on Facebook said that they were friends with him on Facebook, or anyway, she tagged him. I don't know if they're like real friends or if they're like Facebook or he friends every. I don't know what the deal is, but I'm like, okay, tag him, do it. Because when I looked, did I show you? I don't even think I showed you. <gasps> did I close out of that screen? I'm gonna pull it back open. I didn't show you, did I? Because I looked it up. Oh my gosh, I didn't. Here I go. I'm gonna open it back up. I didn't show you. See, I'm so scatterbrained sometimes. I'm so glad you love me. <laughs> Here it comes. Uh, okay, so uh, there, weren't, there was a lot of this particular, this one, this red background one, but I only saw a couple like mine. Like, and this one's in more shape than mine. So best offer was accepted. These are sold. Hey, Pat. Let's see. Here we go. This one, $35, but best offer was accepted. Um, let's see. There was another one down here. I know I'm going fast. Hmm. Oh, wait, there it goes. There it goes. Uh, so somebody, this, this one went for $45. So that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. So we'll see. I mean, it's not going to bring in 100 bucks, but for $2, come on. Pardon me. For 2 bucks, I think not so bad. Okay, so last um, note. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing another live show because it's easy. And I'm going to be talking about... One, a little bit about the room, and then the book club. If you're in International League of Thrifters, we were talking about starting up a book club where we would come once a month. Is tomorrow the last Sunday of the month? No, it's not. But I'm just going to kind of talk about it and then present, like, how it's going to run and, and what we're going to do and maybe start talking about names, like, because we need to come up with a name and all of this fun stuff. So um, check out me tomorrow. <laughs> And Maggie was actually the one that had the really great idea. So thank you, Maggie. We just started a thread just talking about books in the group, and it was like took off. So many people were interested. And she said, we should do a, a book club. And I said, that's a great idea because I love to read. So, yeah, we'll talk about it some more tomorrow and maybe, you know, find a way to come up with a name or something and figure it out. And I'll talk more tomorrow again about uh, my progress in my workroom. I'm going to take some little video to show, be able to show you. I know, Dina, what time? This is me we're talking about. So I am thinking probably around between the 1 and 2 o'clock time slot. It's tough for me to nail it down. <laughs> Let's say 1. Okay, start looking for it around 1. I have little boys at home, you know. <laughs> okay, Tanya. Okay, Tanya says, can I shamelessly plug something? Absolutely. Shamelessly plug away, Tanya. <laughs> Tell me what it is, and I'll help you I'll help you plug it. <clears throat> okay, so um, while she's wa I'm waiting for her, because there's a lag in the thing. So check that out. Um, what else? I, I don't know if you guys have seen the jewelry jar unboxings. I have two. The, the first two, uh, from and those were just the three jars. And so later I'll have another one coming out with the ginormous bag. I'm sure that's going to be a two-part or two. Oh, Tanya says, come subscribe. She's six away from 2,000. Yes, go. Um, if you are in the chat, you can just hover over her name, and you should, uh, you'll should. you see where it says subscribe or not. So click on subscribe for Tanya because she is six away from 2,000 subscribers. That's awesome. And if you – Adam, you're not subscribed to her yet? Okay. Anyway, <laughs> uh, so if, if you have not already, hit that like button down below. And if you like haul videos like this, um, I do usually a haul video Friday or Saturday or sometimes both. And I do lots of other types of reseller-related videos. And I do unboxings and vlogs. And we have lots of fun all the time, usually. <laughs> so make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for everybody. 43 viewers to come and watch all of my live haul and kiss and nonsense. So talk to you later, guys. Thanks so much. Bye. I'm stopping it again. Every time. Every time. I hit stop.